What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FUT Draft Challenge. Today guys, we're going to go back, back in time I suppose. This time last year, uh, we were doing club and nation themed draft challenges and you guys love them. So we're going to start off today with my beloved but very frustrating Arsenal. Been a fan of Arsenal since I can remember. Um, obviously been through everything with Arsenal, the highs and the lows, the Champions League final loss, the Premier League invincibles, the FA Cup runs and all sorts, you know, and to see the club where it is right now is really sad to see the fact that the players just do not fight for the badge is really sad. Um, and for all I care, we could lose all of them and get a new team. I, I would rather finish mid table with a team that actually wanted to play and tried their best than finish like upper mid table um with a team that just doesn't care and so um that's my that's my that's my feelings on arsenal so the idea is quite simple guys we're going to have four attempts every arsenal player will be picked and we're just going to try and get the best possible arsenal foot draft um so i'll take royce because there's not too many arsenal cams in the game in fact this year specifically there's not too many arsenal special cards in the game um if we like i know last year there was a lot of special cards. This year, there's quite a few special cards, but a lot of them are the same player. Um, so if we have a look at Arsenal, in terms of special cards, you've got Aubameyang with a headliners and with a team of the season. David Luiz with a flashback and a shapeshifter. Uh, Martinelli with the future stars. And then Lacazette and Ozil with the... Um, Lacazette. And there is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, oh, he should get linked to Roy, shouldn't he? Because they used to play together. <laughs> um, and then you've got... Uh, Lacazette and Ozil fuck birthday. Come on, give me another Arsenal player. Ooh, Zidane though. Um, you've got Aubameyang's inform, team of the year nominee, and player of the month, and other inform and base card. Uh, Pepe's got a couple of cards. Ozil's got a couple of cards, but the, like we don't really have many players available. Um, let's take Zanetti in there. So I don't know how well necessarily. We'll take Petit. He basically counts. Um, so that's. As good as two um, Arsenal players there. Uh, Petit, 100% counts, actually. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite difficult to get full-on Arsenal players in uh, in this setup. Um, but we'll try our best. As I say, last year, I think the draft in general was just so different last year to the point that you could actually create really fun squads. I went back and... as well, like, The reason why I'm doing this today is because I literally went back and looked... At some of the teams that I was creating last year, some of the drafts and how they were happening and what was going on in those drafts. And it was genuinely, come on, give me the Arsenal, Arsenal right back. No, it was um, it was just fantastic to see all of these uh, all of these wild squads that were just being showcased all over the space, all over the place. Um, and it's sad to now not see them. You know, it's sad to just have the same pool of like 30 or 40 players the whole time. Uh, let's take my cheese in. Uh, for a bit of chemistry so we're already a 98 rate 98 chem 92 rated squad with a few low players in there as well so it's not a bad start uh, we're just gonna have to get quite lucky to see if we can get any uh, arsenal players and i think next up we'll actually do the club that he plays for Ariola, and we'll do a real madrid uh, that's right i said real madrid uh real madrid uh specific draft challenge because i think i think that um real madrid could be a really really fun one Get a really really high rated squad in um so here we go into this draft on the bench though no arsenal players here we'll take 93 diego godin just for some uh, some big ratings and uh move on to the rest of the bench we might be getting a 193 here there's a uh... oh pepe let's go baby come on now we can't start that version is there even a central version of pepe i don't think there is but oh Ozil, let's go man come on let's pop Ozil in there let's swap a bamiang and Ozil around now we can actually put Pepe in at right back and still basically get full chemistry there. That is not bad. So we've got three Arsenal players in there. In fact, if we switch him around, boom, 100 chem. Love that. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. And two picks to go. So we're starting to get some, uh, some, some Arsenal players in here now, which is quite nice. So we've got three, three Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon. That is not bad at all. I, I wouldn't have thought we would have been able to get that many. So we're at a 190 with a fair few low rated, but obviously some of them have got to stay in the club for the sake of the challenge. Uh, we can take Carver Howe 
um, to go onto the bench. I should put us up to a 191 at least. It doesn't. We've got to be so close to a 191 there. The goalkeeper's a bit of a problem. We can take Marcus Rashford. 90 rated. Nice onto the bench instead of Areola. That's 100% 191 now. No question about it. Yeah. So 191 is looking to be our highest rated first attempt at an Arsenal only fuck draft. Uh, Savanier is a 92 rated car can come on in as well instead of Marco Royce. And of course, due to the fact that we're forced to, we don't have to start all the Arsenal players. We're just seeing, you know, if we pick all the Arsenal players, what we can get. There's an ex-Arsenal player in the El Neni. Why not throw him onto the bench? And then last but not least, Alfonso Davies. So another 92 rated card to put on the bench. That is a quite a good draft. It's a 191 with three Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon in the team. Not a bad way to kick things off. Of course, if you guys are playing along at home as well and tweet me or Instagram me your uh, your drafts as well, Instagram and Twitter both at Nepenthes. And let's move in to draft number two. All right, guys, let's take a uh, difficulty setting more suited to Arsenal players. Um, so we've got a lot of wide players. Left back, right back, right mid, left mid, Aubameyang. But we're mostly central base players. So I think... 4 2 3 one wide is perfect. Martinelli, easy. Pepe, easy. Um, where does Pjanic go? He can go in there as well. Then David Luiz, Torreira, easy. You know, we can still fit those in. And there is Aubameyang again. So we're a one nine one so far with three Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon. It's taken Golo Kante to pop in there too. Um, I really love the way the, uh, the, the, the game handles things. Come on, give me an Arsenal player. Have taken Ferla Mendy, shouldn't I? Could have played him and Marcelo at Cam. Uh, I suppose we'll take uh, Mason Mount. Not good for the rating, but very good for the chemistry. Come on, Martinelli, Martinelli, Martinelli. Mm. Hudson Adoy just works, doesn't he? See, now if we was doing highest, best possible Chelsea foot draw challenge, we'd be killing it right now. I'm going to take him anyway uh, because we'd get Marcus Alonso here and all sorts, you know? Jordi, Erkin. Let's take Kamara. French links to uh, Kante and lots of other really good links into the team. Hey, look. Chelsea's best possible foot draft challenge. How do they have three future stars? That seems unreasonable. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Next up, Lala. Lala. La. We'll take uh, Lala as well. Uh, we will be able to link him in. One way or another. In goal. Leno. Let's go. There's our first Arsenal player. Come on. Give me Pepe on the right as well. Let's. Oh, sorry. Our second. <laughs> Just kidding. I forgot about Miang was there. Let's take another future stars player. Hey. 88 rated. 88 chemistry. Not necessarily the best. But. Four Chelsea players. Two Arsenal players. This is a very much uh, London themed. Oh, an Arsenal icon. Let's go, man. Pop him in that CDM role. Let's go. I do like that. Oh, I do like that. Um, that is nice. Now, if we switch around Lehman and Kante, and then Tomori and Soyuncu, 91 chem. The same, really, isn't it? That is not bad, though. So, uh, two Arsenal players, one Arsenal icon. Do we take Dumfries? We do. No, not Dumfries. Walker. Beg your pardon. Up to 97 chemistry. Happy days. Man City right back. Next up, next on the ball. Oh, an ex Arsenal Nacho Monreal. I'm not going to take him. We're going to take Kuli Bali for the rating. We're not going to start him. Uh, oh my God. That is one of the first times I've ever seen that Gomez card. If you're to get a 194 or better, you've got to get cards like that. No question about it. Felipe Anderson. Pop in a minute left back. Highest rated anyway. Gives us a plus two on the chemistry. That is very nice. I don't know if we're going to get the 91 rating the last time. I don't know if we're going to get the uh, the Arsenal players either. What have we got? We've got two Arsenal players. Um, and one Arsenal icon compared to the three and one. So we will need um, a big Arsenal player to, to really give this a chance of better than the 191 that we got before. Take KDB though. ADB can go in instead of Jens Lehmann. And I want Lehmann over Soyuncu. Just for that rating, you know. It's now 90 rated. It's, it's not ideal at the moment. 
Campos, Michael Owen. Michael Owen could come on in. And we'll pop him there instead of Willian. Does that get us up to 9 1? No. Three picks to go, though. Three picks to go. Probably Saar is an Arsenal icon. You could say Saar can count as an Arsenal icon. Um, he certainly has done uh, a very, very special thing for Arsenal Football Club. Um, so, I mean, if, if you want, we could say two Arsenal players and two Arsenal icons in this one. Dimitri Payet there. Nothing doing on that one. Not a bad draft, to be fair. Um, and last but not least. Yes, indeedy. Um, so, it's going to be best of 190 here. Um, I don't. There you go. We'll get 190. Off. There you go. So, we've got a 190 with a 2-1 and one split. And a 191 with a 3-1 and one split. Let's move on to the third draft of today's video. All right, guys. So, as we go into the third draft, I said at the start... We don't have to start every single Arsenal player, but that would be that would kind of go against the whole Arsenal only foot draft challenge, wouldn't it? Or best possible Arsenal foot draft challenge, which is why I started the Arsenal players in the last uh, the last one there. So uh, I think I you know I did in the first two anyway, and I think I, it makes sense to um, actually start the Arsenal players. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the best possible. Wow, wow. That Martinez never shows up. It wouldn't be the best possible Arsenal only or Arsenal foot draft challenge, would it? Oh, Henri. Uh, Riyad Mahrez is in there as well. This is a big start for rating, that's for sure. This is a big start for rating. We can pop him in at centre mid. Gives us a big chem boost. Come on, let's get that first Arsenal player. Hector Bellerin. Nope. Cuadrado. Oh, Cuadrado is not bad. Uh, bad little shout, but la la. La, 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 la. Going at right back and we'll get ourselves a, like a Laporte or something. PK and Gomez. We'll take Gomez. This draft is big. Ha, <laughs> Um, Right, French, Spanish. There's just nothing here we care about. So Barboza, he's, he's never going to get into the team anyway. Oh my days. At least we've had like two really, really poor picks done and out of the way. And we don't have to worry about that later on down the line. We will take Fernandinho as well. Um, which for the time being is actually a bit of a bit of a nice little link there into Neymar. And then in goal, Leno. Hey, there's our first Arsenal player. Um, may, may there be many more. Foster can go in as well. Good little links to Joe Gomez. Yuri Bershishe can definitely go in. He's just massive, just literally in general. And Foster will give us a monster, monster chem boost. Just our fullbacks that we haven't got any links to anyone. So a nice little like, Manuel Petit or something like that would be quite good. Uh, Kamara. French left back doesn't really help. Also kind of does. If we put him there. Swap him round. Swap him round. A 75 chemistry. Quite interesting. Gives give some good chem in uh, in a few few places there. It's the midfielders that are going to be the sticking point on this one. Kai Havertz. This is a big, big draft. Lots of big team of the seasons. We could take Tillemans, can't we? Tillemans in the midfield. Maybe not. Let's take Tillemans anyway. I know he's not the highest rated. He does give us a uh, a little a little boost. We're just going to need a better striker um, to, to link up top there. Couldn't have asked for better than that. Michael Owen going to give us the same massive chem boost right there. And now, other than the defenders, we're in uh, we're in a really good spot. Human Son, Sissoko, Soko we can take as well. So the uh, the Arsenal contingency not super strong. On this one, we have got Leno only. The rating on this draft as well, not particularly amazing. Oh, there we go. Our first uh, our first icon, Arsenal or ex-Arsenal icon player. Now, if we put him back over there and put him over there, put those two around there, it doesn't do anything like I thought it would. Only 92 chem. And what was it on before? Also 92 chem. Although, yeah, that's better. 94 chem. Not bad. 94 chemistry is not bad. We are we're not super low rated anymore, actually. We've got quite some uh, big players. 
We just still need uh, that extra one player that's going to do good. Barnes. Barnes isn't going to do so good over Neymar. But Robertson will over over Mars. Ah, over over Mars. That's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, it's like under over Mars as well, isn't it? But over Mars in there. Let's pop Nene onto the bench. The bench is just flooded with talents. Absolutely flooded. I might. Might. If we put Fernandinho there. And Tillemans in there. And then swap Foster and Fernandinho. 95 chem. Is that better? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't think it is. But it might be. That might be better for Lala there. Next up. Oh, Mesut and Ty, baby. Get in there, pal. Come on. That's what we like to see. Um, David Silva just gets on the bench. That are, that's our second Arsenal player with one Arsenal icon. Um, with two picks to go. It seemingly is very hard to get Arsenal players. Let's take uh, Jao Cancelo. Pop him in the right-hand side. Get that chemistry boost. Very nice. There's a 1-9-1 again. Can we get a final player with Arsenal on the... Uh... No, we can't. So a 1-9-1 this time with two Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon. Instead of three Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon. A big draft there. A lot of big team of the seasons that we haven't seen before. We've got one more attempt, guys. Let's go and see how we do all right guys here we go with the fourth and final attempt let's put it on a difficulty arsenal deserve four three one two four three two one oh four triple two no yes ozil is the only cam we've got a couple cdms we just there's just nothing you can do really for arsenal is there Go four triple two to give us the best chance of getting Lacazette and Aubameyang. I'll start. Oh, let's start with Hazard because he goes onto the bench. Now we've got a better chance of getting some uh, some Arsenal players. Yes, there we go. See Aubameyang, Lacazette's headline is Aubameyang as well. This is going to be good. This is going to be great. We could take Lucas Perez because he used to play for Arsenal. That doesn't really count, mind you. But we'll take Slimani because he's higher rated. Come on, Arsenal players only. Nope, Rick Gallimay can go in for the uh, chemistry, though. Arsenal players only. Oh, the French Zidane. Very nice. We can take him as well. He's he links to Slimani. Come on, this is where we need Petit. Yes, there we go. And this is also where we need Torreira. Torreira will be, like, amazing to show. Oh, never mind. I didn't see David Luiz in the silver picks. Um, David Luiz flashback, obviously, isn't in draft. So that's a bit of a, a, bit of a frustrating one. Um, let's put Erkin in there at left back. E. Howdez wins. It's just a lovely play on words. Come on, Leno, where are you, pal? I needed you. I'm not going to lie, I needed you. Manuel Neuer fits in, though. Links with the German centre back. Ooh, Baracy. Oh, Sol Campbell, ex Arsenal icon. Let's go. We've got two ex Arsenal icons now, and one actual Arsenal player. We can start Dumfries or Mariano. Mariano, probably a better one to start for the Brazilian link. Put those two around. We're on 92 chem. Put those two around. Put those two around. Still on 92 chem. Fair enough. Oh, because he doesn't get a link anymore. Whatever, whatever, Erkin, man. Nobody, nobody cares about you anyway, pal. So two Arsenal icons, one Arsenal player. We'll take Hyung Min Son. Ante makes so much more sense, but Hyung Min Son is 95 rated. And we will always easily get another player to pop in there we could take Renan Lodi Brazilian left back doesn't really work out as well as I would like maybe I'll take Ricardo Pereira because we've got Premier League theme going on definitely put Son in we need strikers and such though Lucas Unlucky Lieva Max Hummels is a good little addition there boom gives us a nice little bit of chemistry um Put Ricardo Pereira in. I don't know why. It just feels better to put the Premier League player in. Not that it makes any difference. Next up, Angel Di Maria. Nice and high rated. Fan matter would be way better for the general team. We could then put Raquel May over on the left hand side. Let's take Juan Mata. Premier League players are just going to be better for us at this stage. 
but I will take Ronaldo there. We nearly signed him once, so that basically counts as an Arsenal player as well. Come on, where's where's uh Oh yay. I don't want Oh, ex Arsenal player in Chesney there. Interesting one. Uh Robertson is perfect for us. So Robertson can go in there. And Mata can now go up in here. We didn't actually gain any chemistry off of that. Bang, there's there's a little bit of a chemistry boost. This is a weird, weird squad. This is not... I mean, I'll be very surprised if we get anything good out of the rest of this. But unless we get, like, a, a huge, um, like, David Luiz or Lacazette card, we have got no chance of making this draft anything... anything at all, really. Um, let's put Goretzka in there. Pop him around there. It works for him, but it doesn't work for anyone else. Do that there. That works. And that works. There you go. That gets us up to 100 chem. That's quite nice. And then the last last pick for the rating. Needs to be an Arsenal player, really. And it wasn't. So, the best possible Arsenal-only foot draft challenge, guys. First and foremost, it's very difficult to just get Arsenal players. Um, I think Real Madrid we might do next, because I believe that they have the most... And there is just... EA have been really, really, really kind. A Barcelona exclusive to Pez. I think they are, aren't they? I think Barcelona exclusive to Pez. I wonder if that's why there is so much Real Madrid theme on this game. Because when you go to the SBCs and you look at the players, the players that are there for the rest of the game cycle, Jovic, Real Madrid... Right. Then, hold on. I suppose we do have one Barcelona player in Vidal. Um. Then, hold on. Uh, hold on. Eden Hazard, Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos, Real Madrid. Eden Militao, Real Madrid. Modric, Real Madrid. They got so many players that are there permanently for them and no other team has anywhere close. So I wonder if EA have gone out of their way to put Real Madrid cards there permanently as a little bit of like, you know, banter back and forth. Anyway, guys, a 1-9-1 with three Arsenal players and one Arsenal icon was the best that we could do today. If you can do better, let me know about it. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.